Welcome, welcome, welcome to part two of my review of Mixed In Keys Captain Plugins Edition, the whole bundle. Last video, I got jumped. I got beat, I got beat up in the comment section for even mentioning Captain Chords alongside Scalar 2. Well, I wonder what's going to happen next. Stay tuned. What is up YouTube, it is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, back with another video. In today's video, we got part two, part deux, of me reviewing Mixed In Keys, Captain Chords, and the bundle, Captain Plugins. Now, before we go any further, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can get any video upload to the channel. And if you do like the plugin today, the link will be in the description below. Also, don't forget to join my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Hollywood Floss one. I'm giving away loop kits, midi each week and i give you advice on your production and growing as a producer now let me go in and say i don't have a dog in this fight i like making good music and i like making you guys make informed decisions i love scalar 2 i held it as the king however captain chords is right there you can have two kings just different sides of the country right or different in different two different countries you can have two different kings they're both great at what they do but my job is to inform you guys of what's out there that's all so don't take it to heart all right so we're gonna go right back in the fl studio and go to part two captain plugins let's go so we're in fl studio i got captain chords pulled up and i just went to a minor just so i can show you guys once again the process of how easy it is to lay down a chord progression so you just click this addition tool right here and then you can come up here and you can change so this we're going to use something basic chord progression yes we can get crazy with it but we're just trying to do an overview and believe me down the road i will show you how i would make a beat with this plugin okay so we got that moved over now one thing i want you to remember is you have to make sure that you put that loop down all right so always put that loop down okay so now i don't feel like you guys got the grasp of captain melody as much but i do like how it connects so once you already have your chords you can go ahead and connect it and then you can start generating your ideas okay just come over get your ideas down and you can hit the dice get new ideas once again the blue shows that it's in the root chords the yellow means it's kind of away from the chord. you're getting away you're causing tension three is in the middle i mean i'm sorry green is in the middle so blue yellow green all right and you can move that idea over just by hitting that and you got something there okay so that would be four bars because it's in four two instead of four four and then you can move this over just like that make sure that you go to your helpers you can scale highlighting a minor we're already there all right so all right so you got that going on okay now we're going to add the part that we didn't get to add we're going to talk about First, we're going to talk about the, the bass. So you go to Captain Deep, and I love the streamline, okay? You go from your chords to your top melody to your bass, and then you can go into your drums. But right now, we're on the bass, and I love this. Now, Scalar 2 does have bass lines incorporated. So does Captain Chords. First, you can have them in the first octave. You can change the octave right here, okay? Usually you're gonna start in the first octave or the A1 um, in your DAW. Follow the chords. You can have it. Now we're not creating Night at the Roxbury. Okay, we're more on the hip hop and trap side, and that's what I got. I show you guys sometimes pop and R and B, but that's following every beat. Now something that I would do on the chord change or maybe every beat. So let's see how that sounds on every beat okay and then you might want to have it what you're used to on the chord change so anytime the chord changes up the bass line will change up and this is pretty and you 
can hear it in there. Now, we're going to go in here. I've been playing around with a couple of them. I like this Mars bass. It reminds me of Reese bass or a synth bass. Let's see how that sounds. Okay, and you can go ahead. Once you, you don't even have to drag it over to your clip. You can just double tap it. And it's already laid down for you, okay? Now let's go back into the, the Captain Deep, which is the baseline effect for it. You can still play with the reverb, delay, filter, volume. There's just so many options. You can also do the verse, the pre-chorus, chorus, or the drop if you have it. And then, of course, the plugins if you want to change the VST, you know, your Arturias or your, um, your Omnispheres. You know, you can go in there and you can change that. But here's the thing. Get different. Don't always just, the, all these tools are for a reason. Also, another rhythm that I've found that helps out with the 808s instead of just bass line. So, okay, you have two things. You can do an 808 bass line or you can do like a synth bass or a bass guitar bass line. One thing that helps with the 808s is if you put it in the follow the chords, shape, and the rhythm of dance. <laughs> This will help with your 808s and getting those lined up. So just something to use, all right? So we're going to move that one over. So now it's in there. And last but not least, in the review, we're going to talk about Captain Beat. This is like the making a chord progression, but you're making a drum pattern, all right? These are the drums. Now, when you come in there, you have your edit, your pencil. Of course, you can go in and you can rearrange all already. It comes with the four on the floor. If you don't know what that is, welcome to Jersey Shore. Okay, but of course you can change that. They give you a lot of rhythms, okay? So once you click on the kick or clap, it changes and you can do the different rhythms of each percussion or each drum, right? And you can also change the sound when you go to the actual sample. Now there's also controls the attack, the hold, the K pitch, the volume, the panning. There's also a little bit of effects, and then you can also export your drum loop to put it in the track to get a better mix, okay? You can also put in filters. You can change the drum kit. This is the 411 drum kit. You might want to come in, mess with the, the chart toppers of hip hop or hip jazz, whatever the case may be. But you don't want to be in disco or techno when you're doing four on the floor so you might want to come in and you might want to get into a different type of groove one of the grooves that i like to go to is the of course the eldre the giant all right he has hip-hop and trap so you might want to go into i don't know skinny bop change this to 130 although 130, 120, all the way up to 170 ish. You should be fine with trap. Now it repeats instead of going all the way to the eight bars because I didn't highlight the eight bars. So remember, you have to highlight all the way through. Now it's in 4 2, so that means I'm going to highlight all the way to the five and watch it play through now. That's a little bit too much, but that's why you go in and adjust it. This is just a starting point from the chords to the melody to the bass line and now to the percussion and the drums. You get a starting point. If you've never created any of these genres, you have some starting point. You have some good starting points by trusted producers in the industry. That's why I say, hey, when Scalar throws an uppercut, I'm not going to lie. Captain Chords and Captain Plugins throws a hook right back because... Scalar doesn't have drums. Now, of course, I want to make my drums on own, but it's just nice to have, okay? Yes, when you, when you have a house, you only need one bathroom, but it's nice to have that second bathroom, okay? You only need one refrigerator, but it's nice to have that little man cave refrigerator. It's the amenities. I'm not going to lie. That makes a difference, especially when the whole Captain Plugins is just $99. So look into it, okay? Let's go through some other drum sounds, and let's see if we can come up with anything else. We're going to change the rhythm, of course. We're not going to have it in 
in human humanity we're gonna try something just different you can do reggaeton if you like just play around with it get to know and grow okay it's your boy hollywood floss the worst producer of all time make sure you hit that like and subscribe make sure you join the patreon i might be giving away some drum kits or some drum loops some midis this week so you might want to join and get that up get your game up um like i said i didn't want to cause a civil war between scalar 2 and captain cords you can use both I got beat up, y'all, for y'all. Just to show y'all this, I got beat up in the comments. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all. I don't care. It's the worst producer of all time. Let me know where you be buying Mixed and Keys Captain Plugins bundle, where you can get all of this bass line chords. Or let me know if you're just going to stick with Scalar 2. And let's have a discussion about it. But yeah, no need to beat up. I have no dog in a fight. I just want to show you guys so you can make informed decisions because sometimes you guys just don't know about plugins. If I'm fortunate enough to review it i want to show you the real so don't beat me up anymore all right we on the same side it's hollywood floss the worst producer of all time signing off